welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today, I will be doing a video on how to do a single axle and figure skating. I know we've done this video before, but that was quite a very long time ago and I've learned so many more new tricks on how to do one better. So I'm gonna teach this to you today. Also, I've been getting so many requests to do this video. So without further ado, let's get into a video on how to do a single axle. The first thing you want to do before you go onto the ice is you want to warm up properly. First thing you want to do off ice is to stretch. So you can do any stretches that you want, but I like doing these like, I don't know what they're kind called, but I think they're side lunges where you do a lunge to the side and they really help stretch out my legs. The next stretch that I like doing is when I put my feet apart to like triangle position and then I lean over to one side. I hold this usually for 20 to 30 seconds and this is a very great stretch and it helps stretch out your muscles. So you want to do your left and right and then you want to go down into the middle and try and go as far down as you possibly can. Next you want to do your splits. You want to warm up both of your lunges, your forward lunge and your opposite lunge which is going backwards. And then you want to go down into your split for both legs. You want to hold it for at least 10 to 20 seconds so you get a good stretch. Next you want to jump rope. Jump roping helps a lot with your jumps on ice because you can work on getting your jumps really high and also jump roping helps a lot with your stamina because if you jump rope for a longer period of time then your stamina gets better because you won't get tired as quickly and stamina helps with doing programs or if you're just jumping and spinning a lot. Next you want to work on your double jumps on your jump rope off ice. You want to make sure that your body stays straight in the air because this is more like the position of the air when you do it on ice than when you bend your knees and it makes it feel more natural. Next you want to do box jumps. These help so that you can work on the height of your jumps. If you do box jumps, you can do you can jump onto benches or you can even jump onto stairs. Next, you want to work on your off ice rotations. You want to do quarter, half, and single rotations. The next off ice rotation exercise you can work on is jumping quarter, then going back to where you started, jumping half, go back where you started, three quarters and back where you started and then full and back where you started. Another exercise that will help with the height on your jumps is doing smaller jumps and making them bigger by every time you jump up and then do a landing position. Next you want to do these skip hops where you bring your leg in front of you, your free leg in front of you, and you just jump up straight as high as you possibly can. I've been getting many requests on how to cross your legs in the air when you jump. So what I like doing is I like crossing my legs like the air position and I try jump roping like that and it helps a lot with my air position. Another request I've gotten many times is how to get your arms in. You want to use these sports bands that are like elastics. You want to choose the circular one and put both of your arms through it. And then when you pull back, you should stretch it as much as you can. 
and then you just bring your arms in, and then it should be as loose as it is, and then it should just roll up and down, it moves, and that's how you know that your arms are tight. Then you want to warm up all of your off-ice jumps. You want to warm up especially your waltz jump, your single loop, and your single axle off-ice. Then once you're all warmed up, you can start putting on your skates and get onto the ice. So now I'm done stretching and I have my skates on. So let's get onto the ice because you have to be on the ice to do an axle. Come on. So I'm on the ice right now, as you can probably tell. And the first thing I'm going to do for my, for my axle is I have to warm up because I want to make sure that I don't injure myself. And you always have to warm up once you get on the ice. So let's go. So now I warmed up properly, and let's move on to an actual axle warm up. The first thing that you want to do to warm up your axle is to do a back scratch. This is good to do before any of your jumps because it helps you get your arms and legs tighter, and you it helps with your air position. And you want to try and get as tight as possible. So let's do that. Next, after you do a back scratch, you want to warm up all of your single jumps before you do an axle. But the two most important jumps to warm up are your wall jumps and your single loops. So I'm going to do wall jumps in a row. So the least that you should do is at least three. You can do more, but three is the maximum. <laughs> three is not the maximum; it's the minimum. And this is how my coach helps me. So I'm gonna go do. And you want to really kick your free leg through. And then if you're still working on them, if you're a beginner moving up to axle, you want to try and get as tight as possible. The next step you should practice is your loops. So your single loops. You want to go down and in the air you want to try and click your ankles together 
because this will help with your air position on your axle. So I'm going to do loops in a row, again like the wash up. The minimum is three, or you could do more if you want. So I'm just going to do three right here. I'm going to try and get as tight as I can and click my ankles in the air. So to make sure that you get your ankles together, they sell this like Velcro wrap that you put around your boot. And then in the corner right here, in your ankle, it has like a squeaky toy or like something that makes a sound. And whenever you click your ankles together, it would like squeak it and it would make a noise. And that's how you would know your ankles are together. So my coach would put that on my ankles when I was learning my axle so I could get them together because I was always like this in the air. But it was so weird. But then he was always arguing with me, but then one day I finally got him crossed and it was so much easier to do my axle. Right now, it's I can't really click my ankles together on my single loops because um, my single loops are pretty big and I'm starting to work on triples right now, so it's a little bit harder for me to get all the way in tight. But if you're a beginner and you're starting to work on your axle, or if you're still just on like single loop or something, you want to try and get as tight as possible before you land in the air. Next thing you want to do is a waltz jump single loop because this is a combination that will help very much with your single axle. It's the too much of four jumps put together. And this is the same, it'll help you feel the rotation of an axle. And But you want to make sure that you always want to cross your legs in the air because that is how you'll get your rotation. So I'll show you guys. The next exercise that will help you get the rotation on your single axle is to do a back strap and then jump up and do a single loop. This is helpful for like, you can do this with double loop or triple loop, doesn't really matter, but you want to do, you want to jump, do a back scratch, a jump up, and this will help with your air position and it'll help to get your rotation because you're spinning before and then you learn to get it. So I'll show you guys what I The next thing that you do is you go across the line and you go just like squeeze into your air position like that. So I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to go down again on the ice. The next exercise helps if you feel like you need a little bit more rotation. You're almost there on your axle, just a tiny bit more rotation. So you're going to go on the circle, and you should practice this slow first, because if you go way too fast into it, it's very hard and you could fall and hurt yourself. So you want to go slow, and then you want to like hold a glute position, and then you can turn forward and become tight, like your air position. I'm going to go a little bit faster since I've worked on this for a while, but I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm going to on this, but this is the same thing as you can switch around the turns and you're also close to your
Next, after you do all these exercises, get ready to try your axle if you think you're ready. So you want to go slow, and you're going to start on the line. And then the thing you want to do is you want to do a right outside and then yeah. But first you want to do that. You want to make sure that you do a wall stroke. So we'll go right outside, left outside, wall stroke. After that you want to do wall stroke, single loop. But be, be very careful and you want to go slow. You want to make sure you get tight. And you guys got this, I believe in you. So after you feel you've mastered your single axle on the line, you can try doing it on a bigger pattern out faster. So I'll show you guys with that a little bit. you've mastered your single axle out big then you can challenge yourself and see how many single axles you can do in a row so I actually don't know so let me go try I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that t these tips and tricks helped you get your axle and maybe it helped you get a tighter air position. I want you guys to comment down below if you want me to update any of my jump videos. Also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Love you guys. Bye!